Hello everyone. In this part of our discussion, we're going to see how we can implement the CI CD pipelines on the Google Cloud Platform. So we got certain five steps here. We want to create a Java project first and here we're going to talk about how we can write a web service or a microservice. We're going to use Spring Boot for the same. The next part, we're going to discuss the cloud source repositories where we're going to push the code to the Google Cloud Source repositories, not to the GitHub, but we'll use the same Git commands and we'll sync our code in the Google Cloud Source repository. Thereafter, we're going to see how you can containerize the application with the Docker file. We're going to discuss the Docker configuration and we will see how we can build our application right onto the Google Cloud platform using the Cloud Build service. So in the cloud build, we can use triggers which can help us to fire the builds automatically. It means that as in and whenever you will change your code and you will push it to the cloud source repository. So build will fire, will build will get fired automatically. And that, that is something where you're going to understand your continuous integration process. Now the next service is the cloud run where we will be having a YAML configuration. We'll define some, you know, steps. So with the changes in your code, we'll be able to fire a build as well as we'll be able to run your a code or a service exactly onto the Google Cloud Run service. And we will be having an endpoint from where you will be able to access your service. So let's get started with the very first part where we're going to understand creating a Java project and that too by writing a web service. So I'm going to use Eclipse. In the Eclipse, there, is, there are several options. It's an enterprise edition uh, configuration here. So we're going to create a new Spring Starter project. So with the Spring Starter project, you have two options to work on. Either you can go with the Maven configuration or the Gravel. So build configuration is up to your choice, but both going to work in the same way for us. So I'm going to come here and uh, give the name here, maybe like restaurants. So this is going to be my project name. So the group ID is com.adpl artifact is the restaurants and this is one demo on CI CD with the Google Cloud platform. My package name is going to be com.adpl.restaurants. So I'm going to write a service where we will be fetching the list of restaurants and uh, the restaurants may have the menu coming up, right? So let's say next. Now as a part of your Spring Starter project where you want to come up and create a web service, you need to add this dependency called Spring Web. So with the Spring Web, you can uh, write your RESTful Spring MVC architecture. So we have the Apache Tomcat where you can automatically come up and test your applications on your local host. So let's say Next, and this is the URL from where your project is going to be generated. So hitting the finish and let's wait for the Eclipse to come up and finish the project structure. So we are getting all the necessary imports done. So let's wait for the project to get finished. Now the building is in process and here we are on our project explorer with the project. So first of all, let us see the pom.xml file or the project object model.xml file. And what you see is the dependencies listed here, right? So we got this Spring Boot starter web, the test package and our, our Spring Boot Maven plugin, right? So these are by default are coming up, but web we added explicitly. Now let us come to our SRC main Java and what you see is there is a restaurants application or Java file which is created automatically in this spring starter project. So this is our spring boot application. The annotation says here that it's a spring boot application. So we got this application with the main method. So with the spring application, you're going to execute this restaurants application dot class. And if there are any arguments, we're going to pass them. So I'm going to come here and convert the same class maybe as a rest controller. So let us come here and say it has rest controller. So this class is going to serve as a controller and coming here, let me write one method. So let's say public string welcome, which is going to return a welcome string. This goes like welcome all. 
Now I am going to come here and say at the rate get mapping and uh, for my get mapping to work we are just going to make our URL pattern to go like slash right so which means that when you run your code so the uh, home part itself is going to be showing you the welcome all right so it's a, a very basic message which we are just trying to come up and show when you will run your application so let's quickly run this application and see what happens now remember when you are creating this spring boot application you need not to run it as a java application you need to run it as a spring boot application so let's say okay So on the console you can see we got this uh, spring started now we got this apache tomcat which is initialized at the port number 8080 if you can see in the console message right so your restaurants application is already up so what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to come here go to the local host call an 8080 hit enter and you see this message coming up as welcome all right why because you got this get mapping done for the root page of your web application now i am going to write another uh, you can say method in my rest controller so this method may be a public and this is going to be returning a map and I'm gonna just say fetch restaurants now I'm pretty much going to hard code this but if you want you can just pull the data from uh, maybe the MySQL, Mongo, Firestore or any database of your choice so what are we going to do here we're gonna come up and uh, first of all create a map where we got the key value pair coming up as string integer so this is my menu one which is a new of hash map so for the menu one i'm going to put some data so maybe uh, the restaurant is going to be mcdonald's so we got something like burger let's say the price is 100 then i'm gonna put let's say fries then we can um, even have something like a meal let's say some 200 now similar way I'm gonna write another menu maybe a menu 2 so this can go like dal makhani then paneer makhani and then we can have something like roti so let's say 200 300 and maybe 20 Right, so these are some two menu which we created and now I'm gonna write another map where we got this map of type string which will further have the value as hash map of type string interior right so this is going to be my restaurants map so it's gonna be a new hash map where we just need to align the so you are not just returning a map of key value pair but you are returning a map of key as string and value as a hash map right so this is what you are uh, going to return so i'm just gonna put my type to match and in this restaurants i'm going to put maybe the key as mcdonald's and the value coming up as the menu one right same way I'm going to say my restaurants dot put the key coming up here as maybe let's say Indian veggie delight and this goes like my menu too and we will be returning the restaurants map here so the fetch restaurants method is going to work on uh, the hash map here called restaurants 
right where we will be returning the uh, map of restaurant so let's quickly recheck what exactly went wrong okay so the string and the hash map of string integer let me I'll just write this as hash map right so this is what it's gonna fix the issue for us now we got this uh, method fetch restaurant which is returning the map of restaurants if I'll come here and say uh, that the get mapping is going to be slash restaurants so we are pretty much uh, having another endpoint where we can just uh, execute restaurants and you will get the restaurant but I want the restaurants to come up as JSON so I'm gonna add one more annotation called response body right so this is all coming from the spring framework so if you are uh, less competent on the spring framework you need to review it first before you go with this tutorial now let's come back to our application so on the local host 8080 we are going to say slash of restaurants okay so what pretty much I need to do is I just need to stop this and uh, let me just give a small rerun So now I'm gonna come here and say slash restaurants. I just hope that I wrote this correct name. Yeah, so this is the problem because we just have a small typo. Me just once again stop and rerun. Yeah, so here we just small typo, right? So now let's rerun the code. So by default, the port number is going to be 8080, and if you want, you can even configure this port number. I'll just demonstrate that part as well. So let's come here and hit our home page and now hit the restaurants so what you see is a json response with the mcdonald's coming up uh, for burger 100 fries 50 right so there is one small you know kind of a bug where we sort of just did the menu one put again right so instead of menu one you can just say menu two but a small change um, and yes let's now try to with this restaurants so you need to just probably restart and uh, you'll be able to see that it's gonna work fine for you so let's run now since we are executing this part in the meanwhile in the resources you got this application dot properties so you can always have various different properties for your project specified in this file right so I can say my server dot port port so this goes like uh, a dollar and I can say the port number is 8080 right so this is one configuration which you can set that's like your server port to be defined by the port environment variable in your application dot properties so it's gonna come up and uh, make sure that the web server listens on the port number 8080 right so let's revisit and rehit and now you can see the McDonald's with its uh, list of dishes and the Indian veggie delight with the list of dishes so we got our project created so that was our very first step that you need to create a Java project where you have to have a, a web service running so my web service called uh, restaurants is just going to give me the list of restaurants now in the next step we need to work on the cloud source repositories